All right, Shalom Amalkim. I want to start off first and foremost, giving all praises and glory unto Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai Bahashem Rakagadash. Okay, Yahweh being the name of the Heavenly Father, Yahweh Shai being the name of His only begotten Son. Okay, the only names you so called Negroes, Hispanics, and Native Americans are able to obtain salvation if you're part of the remnant, if you're part of the one third. Okay. Those whose names are written in the book of life. Other than that, you cannot call upon any other name. And if you're not written in the book of life, you will not be saved. Okay? Double honors going out to the elders, the apostles of Great Millstone. Okay? Our teachers, my teachers. Who have, in sincerity and truth, taught me the scriptures as they are meant to be. Uh, uh, preached okay I'm going into this video all right there's more judgment all right there's gonna the, 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 you're gonna see things being amplified a lot more okay you're gonna start seeing more much more judgment and, and that that's that should probably be the name of this video more judgment to come All right, because this is happening out in Mexico in Zacatecas. All right, you you have um what 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 is known as cartels, okay, uh, sicarios, sicarios. All right, out there in Mexico who who are running the drug wars out there and drug trades. Okay, under uh, uh obviously we know uh uh uh. uh double agents of uh, uh, the CIA and the DEA okay those who have uh, 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 took in all the resources from all these co uh, countries man and now rule all these countries through their wicked laws through their wicked decrees okay which we know these wicked people are Esau Edom okay these so called white men okay um, Shalakia, let me get a little bit in order. Um, kill the heat right away. Had the heater running. Shalakia, Shalakia, it's getting a little bit too hot for me. So, with this going on, man, we know also. That Yahweh Shem Yahshai is casting out judgment. Also on you, on, on you uh, so-called Negroes, Hispanics, and Native Americans. Alright? Which you, you so-called Negroes, so-called Hispanics, Latinos, Mexicans. Alright? Rubenites, Gadites, so-called uh, 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 Native Americans. Y'all make up the 12 tribes and also you Israelite foreigners that are scattered abroad the four corners of this earth looking like the heathen nations. But guess what? You come of the sea line of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Okay? Being a so-called Negro, Hispanic, and Native American. This judgment is coming upon you as well, man. Because y'all hearken not unto Yahweh Bashem Yahushai. You're not taking heed to, to, to the signs of the heavens man you're not taking heed to the signs of the times that we're we're in you continue to run into your idols to your gods man okay and your uh, uh, a lot of y'all biggest god is, is uh, if it's not money it's esau edom okay and yahweh shim y'all shy as we know he's gonna it is first his judgment is gonna start off in his house okay with those that know that they're Israelites and they're not teaching the correct doctrine. Okay, that they're not teaching what what the real uh 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 um uh, karagma is. That it's an embargo. That 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 it's an Edomite woman. That it's Christianity, whatever the fuck they want to say it is, man. It's a lock it for my cussing. My all right um. There's more judgment to come. 
All right, we're going to see these uh, things amplify a lot more this year, man. We're only, what, six, seven days into the year, man. And we've already been seeing a lot going on. We're, we're, we're that tower. We're supposed to be talking on these issues that are going on, man. They have been going on for, for decades, for centuries, whatnot. But guess what? They're, they're happening more now on, on, as, a, as a, a, a woman in travail, man. Which it's in contractions. It comes and goes, comes and goes. And it's getting closer and closer together, man. All right. So the thing is, you have these uh, 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 Sicarios, uh, Sicaris out there in Mexico, man. All right. Not to get confused with the Sicarios out here who, who read the Bible. But these are part of the cartels. Okay. Who went and murdered and tortured 10 people. Okay. Nobody ever dies being innocent. Okay. But guess what? That's judgment. But guess what? They put them in the car in the SUV. And then left them in front of the governor's house, man. In front of the governor's palace. Alright? Next to their uh, uh, damn fucking Christmas tree, man. Because you Israelites want to sit there and continue uh, practicing all these pagan uh, uh, rituals, man. These pagan holidays. Okay? Y'all hearken not unto you how about Shem Shai. And y'all ain't going to have a cloak for your sin in the day of visitation of Yahweh Shai, man. Because you have camps out there in Mexico, man. You have camps out there in Central America. You have camps out there in South America. You have camps throughout the world. In Australia. France. Ro man, you got camps out there. Uh, uh, of man. By, uh, valiant men. Who are preaching the gospel of Yahweh Hashem Yahshua. But I'm going to play this video, I'm going to stop talking, and then I'm going to hit, uh, uh, go through some uh, scriptures. But I'm going to try to get you guys updated on what this video is talking about. So this guy now is talking about, oh, that he he, he, he has to uh, uh, go and basically uh, uh, try to figure out what, what God wants him to do. Because all the the violence, you know, he's trying to trying to uh, 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 basically uh, render himself to to God now, and that's what this woman's talking about here at the in the beginning. But let me play it. Pide el gobernador de Zacatecas encomendarse a Dios para frenar la violencia. Eso equivale al detente por dos, ¿no? De la pandemia. Bueno, esto después de que fue abandonada una camioneta con varios cuerpos. Frente al Palacio de Gobierno y el gobernador pide encomendarse a Dios. So, this just happened recently. This happened, I believe, it was a Friday night. Friday night to Saturday. Um, or Thursday night to Friday morning. Uh, just like three days ago. Alright? So, basically, you know, the governor, he, uh, he's all scared. He should be. But the thing is, guess what? We know the scriptures. We should fear the Most High, Yahweh Ba'ashim Yahshai, rather than man. He's going to get judged because he's just a coon. Okay? He's pushing out Esau's agenda out there. Okay? I know these places out here where they're at, where this happened, man. I've been to this city, uh, these cities out here in Mexico when I was a little kid, man. And they're pushing Esau's agenda out there more now than ever. Well, this 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 right here is the palace. That's the Christmas tree where they had left that SUV at with ten bodies that 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 were deceased. Okay, some of them are brutally uh, beaten and uh, and tortured. All right. De Navidad en la Plaza de Armas frente al Palacio de Gobierno en Zacatecas fue abandonada una camioneta reciente modelo. Dentro había al menos seis personas. This is the, the, the tow truck taking that SUV away from the crime scene. Ok. Asesinadas y previamente torturadas. Una camioneta gris Mazda con un, cuerpos golpeados, lesionados. 
El chofer del auto condujo la camioneta por más de 10 minutos en la zona centro de la... So I guess that, that SUV, the, whoever was driving it, was driving, driving around that area for, for a while, man. And then finally decided to pull over and, and, and leave the, that truck and run off to an alley. Vital, sin que ninguna autoridad lo detuviera. Luego hizo saltar el vehículo hacia Plaza de Armas y abandonó a pie el lugar. Ese vehículo, según el C5, ingresó por la parte de Quebradilla, la 514, luego a las 520 y tantos, 5 y tantos, estaban dejando el vehículo aquí, frente a Palacio, y quien lo conducía, al parecer corrió por el callejón. Al principio se creyó que se trataba de un accidente vial, pero los policías que llegaron como primeros respondientes se per... So at first they thought, you know, it was it was an accident that happened or something. So the first uh, responders that showed up ended up discovering that it it, it, it was something else, man. All right? It, they they found these bodies beaten and tortured up in that SUV, man. Right, so we're gonna start seeing more and more of this, man, on the higher level, man. And see this right here, what they did, it, it's a retaliation against the governor. Okay, showing they're showing the governor that he has no power over them, that they're gonna continue doing what they're doing out there. Okay, so yeah, how about Shimmy Al Shai is gonna continue to pour out judgment? On, on, on you so-called Negroes, Hispanics, and Native Americans, man. It's going to get a lot more worse, man. All right? We know this type of violence uh, 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 crosses the border, man. All right? We, we, there's documented history that you could go back and read that, that, that this type of violence that happened a couple days ago comes across the border, man. Right, you had issues out there in, in uh, South Texas before with all this shit that was happening, man. Right, but this is all Esau's bullshit, man. Esau's the one that pushed all this uh, wickedness on our people, man. But guess what? Not only are are the two thirds gonna be judged because of this, Esau Edom is also gonna be judged, right? And, and, and guess what? Hey. The scripture says, slay utter, uh, hey, those that uh, don't fear me, that don't want to worship Yahweh Hashem Yahshai. Guess what? He says, bring those hither and slay them before me. All right? So, hey, Yahweh Shai is not going to have pity on no no child, no 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 elder, no no uh, elderly woman, no elderly man. Okay? No, he's not going to have pity on nobody, man. He's going to make sure that the old, the young be slayed all together, man. So let me get into some scriptures. I'm going to uh, start off in uh, 2nd Ezra, chapter 15. And I'm going to start at verse 1. Behold, speak thou in the ears of my people the words of prophecy, which I will put in thy mouth, saith the Lord. And cause them to be written in paper, for they are faithful in truth. That's right, man. All right? The scriptures, the holy scriptures, the holy Bible, it's faithful and true. Everything that's written in it is going to come to pass. All those prophecies that haven't been fulfilled yet and haven't come to pass, guess what? They will come to pass. Verse 3, fear not the imaginations against thee. Let not the incredulity of them trouble thee. That speak against thee. See, we don't have to worry about anything. As long as we continue to walk in the ways of Yahweh Shem Shai, we have to fear nothing. Okay? Even if we get put in jail, even if we get beheaded for the witness of Yahweh Shai, we don't have to fear that. Okay? That those are gonna be precious deaths there for, for the witness of Yahweh Shai. Okay, so anything that's happening, if you're walking in in, 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 in the truth, in sincerity, in truth, and, and you as the man are doing the work of Yahweh Shai, man, doing the will of Yahweh, you ain't got to fear anything, man. All you got to continue to do is fear Yahweh Ba'ashim Shai. Examining yourself daily, man, making sure that you're you're constantly meditating on the scriptures. 
doing whatever possible you can to be found blameless in the return of Yahweh Shai, man. Praying constantly, man. Verse 4. For all the unfaithful shall die in their unfaithfulness. Behold, saith the Lord, I will bring plagues upon the world. The sword, famine, death, and destruction. That's what's coming. The sword, death, violence. Okay? Guns. Missiles. That's what's coming upon. Famine. You're, you're, you're seeing a famine of food. Very shortly, you're going to see famine of the word. Death and destruction. That's, that's what you need to start preparing your mind for, man. Seeing all this death. Blood coming all the way up to the horse's bridle. Verse 5. Or verse 6. For wickedness has exceedingly polluted the whole earth. And their hurtful works are fulfilled. That's right. You see wickedness everywhere, man. Especially within the tribes. Verse 7, Therefore saith the Lord, I will hold my tongue no more as touching their wickedness, which they profanely commit. Neither will I suffer them in those things in which they wickedly exercise themselves. Behold, the innocent and righteous blood crieth unto me, and the souls of the just, just complain continually. Is everybody complaining about what's going on? It could be so, but I doubt it. Guess who's complaining about the wickedness? Guess who's who's doing that? The elect. And, and, and to go even more precise, the, 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 the 144,000, man. Those prophets. Those prophets of old. They're the ones complaining continuously, man, of all the um, wicked uh, um, wicked, uh, uh, of all the wickedness, the unrighteousness that's going on here on this earth, especially here in Babylon, because Babylon pushes all of that across the whole earth, man. Verse 9 Therefore saith the Lord, I will surely avenge them and receive unto me all the innocent blood from among them. That's right, man. Yahweh Shem Shai has spoken and he will deliver in that time, man. He will cast judgment upon the wicked, man. And, and those with, that have no faith, man. And all you that run to Esau, because you have no faith, guess what? Death and destruction is coming your way too. This is Revelation 21 and 8. But the fearful and unbelieving and the abominable Ab abominable abominable Salakia and murderers and whoremongers and sorcerers and idolaters and all liars shall have their part in the lake which burneth with fire and brimstone which is the second death and that's what's going to happen man when World War 3 kicks off y'all going to be put to death man you're going to have that, that you're going to feel that uh, 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 nuclear fire, man. Why? Because y'all continue to live your lives as, as if whatever you're doing is right. And whatever you how about Shem Shai says to do is wrong. That's why the scriptures say, woe unto them that call evil good and good evil. Jumping down to uh, 2nd Ezra chapter 15 verse 14. Woe to the world, destruction to the world, and them that dwell therein. For the sword and their destruction draw at night. That's right. It's very close. Your destruction, man. Alright? The sword. What is the sword nowadays? Those nuclear missiles. And one people shall stand up to fight against another and swords in their hands. Yup, you're going to have people with guns. For there shall be sedition among man. And invading one another. They should not regard their kings. Nor their prince. And the course of their actions. Shall stand in their power. That's right man. 
That's what you're seeing. You're seeing it on a low level. But guess what? It's going to uh, rise up even higher, man. To to where you're you're not you're you're gonna see this more and more throughout your cities. What do you say right here? Look at him. See him? You 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 think those Sakaris out there, those cartels out there, you think they really care about the federales? You think they they that they, they care about the municipal police out there? They don't. They don't care about the governors out there, man. Just what was it last year or the year before, man? You had a, a motherfucker out there. I forgot what, what it might have been here in Zacatecas again, man. Where they went to the governor's house, man, and, and took his ass out of there, tied him to the back of the truck, and dragged him around the city, man. This is what you're gonna start seeing here in Babylon, man. Verse 17. A man shall desire to go into a city and shall not be able. For because of their pride, the city shall be troubled. The houses shall be destroyed and man shall be afraid. That's right, man. You're going to have these two-thirds fucking scared out of their ass. Over here acting like there's something big. A man shall have no pity upon his neighbor, but shall destroy their houses with the sword and spoil their goods because of lack of bread and for great tribulation. That's right, man. That's what's coming unto Babylon, man. That you see it on the low scale right now, but it's just gonna be amplified. Jumping down to verse 22. My right hand shall not spare the sinners, and my sword shall not cease over them. That shed innocent blood upon the earth. That's right, man. Yeah, how is is not going to pit, have pity, man? And you're going to see the sword. You're going to see Esau, man, destroying. He's going to end up be, being destroyed too with those nu nuclear missiles, man. Which are the sword as well. This is Deuteronomy. Chapter 30. And verse 10. If thou shalt hearken unto the voice of the Lord, Yehovah Shemiel Shai, thy power to keep his commandments. This is for you so-called Negroes, Hispanics, and Native Americans, man. If you hearken unto him, hearken unto the voice of Yehovah Shemiel Shai, your power. How do you hear his voice? Through the scriptures that come out of the mouth of the prophets the prophets that you see out there on the highways and hedges that's the mouthpiece of Yahweh Ba'ashim Yahushai that's what you're supposed to be taking heed to hearing the scriptures come out the way they sh should be uh, taught and preached and his statues which are written in this book what book? the holy bible of the law and if thou turn unto the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Yahushai, thy power with all thy heart and with all thy soul. See, you have to turn unto Yahweh Bashim Yahushai with all your mind. Force yourself, man. It, 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 it's easy to leave wickedness behind, man. But unto the wicked, guess what? It, it's easier for them to do wickedness than to do good. Verse 11, for this commandment, which I command thee this day, it is not hidden from thee, neither is it far off. It is not in heaven. Is it not in heaven that thou shouldest say, who shall go up for us to heaven and bring it unto us that we may hear it and do it? Neither is it beyond the sea. That thou shouldest say, who should go over the sea for us and bring it unto us that we may hear it and do it. See, it's simple, man. You don't have to sit there and, and ask somebody to bring you the scriptures from across the ocean, man. So you can hear it. Or to bring it down from heaven so you can hear it. Verse 14, but the word 
is very nigh unto thee in thy mouth and in thy heart that thou mayest do it. It's right here, right in front of us, man. With the proper understanding, with the proper teachers, you should be able to understand what to do. It's not hard. It's not difficult. You make it difficult on yourself. Because you don't want to leave the wickedness of this world. Because you don't want to leave the riches of this world. Because you're scared to leave your family. You're scared to lose your job. And walk after the ways of Yahweh Shai. Verse 15. I see. I have set before thee this day. Life and good and death and evil. In that I command thee. This day to love the Lord Yahweh Bashem Yahushai, thy power, to walk in his ways and to keep his commandments and his statutes and his judgments, that thou mightest live and multiply. And the Lord Yahweh Bashem Yahushai, thy power, shall bless thee in the land whither thou goest to possess. That's right, man. If we do what he tells us to do, man. Guess what? We have that hope. We can walk in faith of hoping in salvation that Yahweh is going to come and redeem us. Take us out of this place before it gets destroyed with nuclear fire. And when the dust settles, guess what? We'll come back. He'll bring us back into the land, man. And He's going to bless us forevermore. Verse 17, but if thy heart turn away, so thou wilt not hear, but shall be drawn away and worship other gods and serve them, as you guys do, as you Issacharites do out there in Mexico. Yeah, y'all worship everything else, man. From, from wood, stone, and, and to flesh, money. But you don't want to worship Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Verse 18. I denounce unto you this day that ye shall surely perish and that ye shall not prolong your days upon the land whether thou possess over Jordan to go to possess it. I have called heaven and earth to record to record this day against you. That I have set before you life and death, blessings and cursings. Before, therefore, choose life that both thou and thy seed may live. See, it's a hey, choose life that way your seed can live. That, that if you're walking after the ways of Yahweh Shai, guess what? You train up your children to walk after the ways of Yahweh Shai, and guess what? Y'all shall live. It's all through faith, man. Verse 20. That thou mayest love the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Yahushai, thy power. And that thou mayest obey his voice. And that thou mayest cleave unto him. For he is thy life. And the length of thy days. That thou mayest dwell in the land. Which the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Yahushai, swore unto thy fathers. To Abraham, to Isaac, and to Jacob to give them. See, he had promised something unto our forefathers, man. He had promised that he was going to redeem us. That there was going to be a remnant. That he was going to take us up, up out of this captivity and take us back into our own lands. This is Isaiah. Chapter 51 and verse 4. And they shall build the old waste that they shall rise up from the former desolations. And they shall repair the waste cities and the desol desolations of many generations. And strangers shall stand and feed your flocks and your sons of the aliens shall be your plowmen and your vine dressers. But ye shall be named the priests of the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Yahushai. Men shall call you the ministers of our power. 
and ye shall eat the riches of the Gentiles. And in, the, in their glory shall you boast yourselves. That's right, man. See, that was actually Isaiah uh, 61 and verse 4 through 6. See, that those are part of the blessings that are coming unto us, man, if we obey His voice. If we're part of the 144,000. If we're part of the elect. The one third. See the, the 144,000. Like, you're going to be priests man. We're, we're going to have the heathens. Doing all the work. That's what's going to happen. If we take heed unto Yahweh Bashim Yahweh If we get redeemed out of this place. But if not, there's nothing but destruction unto you. So going on to Isaiah 51 and verse 4. Hearken unto me, my people, and give ear unto me, O my nation. Did he say all the world? All the heathens? All nations? No. He said, hearken unto me, my people, give ear unto me, O my nation. For a law shall proceed from me, and I will make my judgment to rest for a light of my for a light of my of the people. My righteousness is near, my salvation is gone forth, my and my arm shall my arm shall judge the people. The owls shall wait upon me, and my arm shall they trust, and on my arms shall they trust. Lift up your eyes to heaven and look upon the earth beneath for the heavens shall vanish away like smoke and the earth shall wax old like a garment and they that dwell therein shall die in like manner but my salvation shall be forever and my righteousness shall not be abolished that's right man that's why you, you're supposed to hearken unto Yahweh Hashem Yahweh man as we gone earlier. This is written in the in the Holy Bible because it's faithful and true. His righteousness is going to be forever and ever. His judgments. Verse 7. Hearken unto me, ye that know righteousness. The people in whose heart is my law. And who did he give the law to? He didn't give it to the Egyptians. He gave it to Israel in the wilderness. Through Moses. Fear ye not the reproach of man. Neither be ye afraid of their revilings. Revilings. For the moth shall eat them up like a garment. And the worm shall eat them like a wool. But my righteousness shall be for forever, and my salvation from generation to generation. Awake, awake, put on strength, O arm of the Lord Yahweh Bashem Yahshai. Awake as it, as in the ancient days, in the generations of old. Are thou not in the, Are thou not it that had cut Rahab? And wounded the dragon? Or thou not it which hath dried the seed? The waters of the great depth? That had made the depths of the sea a way for the ransom to pass over? Verse 11. See that's going back in, into when he took us out of Egypt. Is he not the same power that, that was back then? You, you think he actually completely turned his back against Israel? No. Everything is faithful and true. When he said he was going to make sure we went back into Egypt with ships, he made sure that happened. If these curses fell upon us, guess what? The blessing... Also will come upon us. <clears throat> Verse 
Verse 11. Therefore, the redeemed of the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Yahushai, shall return and come with singing unto Zion, and everlasting joy shall be upon their head. They shall obtain gladness and joy, and sorrow and mourning shall flee away. That's what we're hoping for. It's written, it's true. Verse 12. I, even I, am he that comforted you, who art thou that thou shouldest be afraid of a man that should die. Who are we that we should be afraid of a man that we, that's going to be put to death, man? Esau, Edom, it, 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 he already has his judgment written in the scriptures. We know what his end is. Why the fuck are you afraid of him? And of the Son of Man which shall be made as grass for and and forgettest the Lord Yahweh Yahushai thy maker that had stretched forth the heavens and laid the foundations of the earth and has feared continually every day because of the fury of the oppressor as if he were ready to destroy and were and where is the fury of the oppressor hey man when that motherfucker comes through man hey yeah, how about Shimi Al Shai says he's gonna lift up a standard against Esau Edom, man? You gotta have faith. You gotta walk. The walk, as they say. If you're gonna talk the talk, walk the walk. Cause you have a lot of false uh, leaders out there, man, who 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 talk and talk, but they ain't walking the walk, man. They're leaving their congregation high and dry. See, but the water Yahweh Bashim Yahushai call on law Yahweh Bashim Yahushai that he has brought us into the truth under the or the leaders he has set up, the correct leaders, and that we're able to understand the truth. I'm going to go into Proverbs chapter 8, verse 32. Now, therefore, hearken unto me, O ye children, for blessed are they that keep my ways. Hear instruction and be wise and refuse it not. Blessed is the man that heareth me, watching daily at my gates. Waiting at the post of my doors. For whose for whoso findeth me findeth life and shall obtain favor of the Lord Yahweh Bashim Yahshai. That's right, man. We're hoping we're those men. We have the signs that point towards us, but guess what? This is a daily walk. This is still not the end. We got to continue and endure to the end. Then we shall receive a crown. Verse 36. But he that sitteth against me wrongeth his own soul. All they that hate me love death. That's right, man. You don't love Yahweh Bashim Yahushai. You love death. Going back into Isaiah 46. And I'm going to end it up. End it in this chapter. Isaiah 46. And verse 9. Remember the former things of old. For I am power. And there is none else. I am power. And there is none like me. Declaring the end from the beginning and the ancient times, the things that are not yet done, saying, 
my counsel shall stand, and I will do all my pleasure. Calling a revenious bird from the east, that a man that executed my counsel from a far country, yet yeah, I have spoken it. I will also bring it to pass. I have proposed it. I will also do it. Hearken unto me, ye stout here hearted that are far from righteousness. I bring near my righteousness. It shall not be far off, and my salvation shall not tarry. And I will place salvation in Zion for Israel, my glory. That's right, man. That's what we're hoping for. We know all this is going to happen unto the unbelievers, man. They're going to die. Uh, 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 um, but it went so, so, uh, uh, um, embarrassing deaths, man. See, we don't have to worry about being ashamed. We walking after the ways of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. Hey, be not ashamed. Those men that, that be beheaded for the witness of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai, that's a glorious, glorious death. It's not going to be a shameful death. But these two thirds, they're going to have a shameful death. Right? Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai has spoken it. He has written the scriptures. He has, he has used the, the, the prophets of old to write these scriptures for all. Our learning today, man. So we know what to expect. So we're ready for his return. So he doesn't catch us. Uh, uh, so he doesn't come unto us like a thief in the night. Alright. But with that, I want to give all praises and glory unto Yahweh. Ba'ashem. Yahushai. Ba'ashem. Rekakadash. Double honors to the elder apostles. The great millstone. Peace, mercy. Be unto you, hopeful elect. All right, you sincere Akim, who 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 continuously put your lives and freedom on the line for the gospel of Yahweh Shai. Peace, mercy be unto you, sincere Akim at Akwat children. All right, that 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 are taking heed unto the words of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. With that, Shalom, and as always, Wa Abad Babal.